Hello babes! I'm so excited to like be in the car and like vlog for you guys. I figured I would because I am on the way to the Ikea in Burlington because Ikea right now like their stocks are just like it's crazy it's like not in stock here in stock here and then you go check and like it's freaking gone from that place and this car decides he wants to turn like in a very short amount of time if you anyways um if you're new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe hit the bell so you guys get notified for all my brand new videos and i'll link both my ig pages down below it's raining right now so if you hear my windshield wipers i'm so sorry um but yeah it's like raining and snowing it's not the greatest combination but i can't believe that i missed this freaking piece of furniture you guys remember when i was shopping i'm gonna keep looking at the thing because obviously i'm not trying to be responsible guys number one priority is being responsible and safe while you're driving so anyways um i can't believe i missed this but you guys remember when i was doing like my entry area looking for like a piece to go right there for my shoes and all that stuff um by the way i got my nails done I love them so much. I got almond back again and I got them really long, so I'm so happy. I had chosen um, another piece from Ikea, but honestly, you guys, I was never really like in love with it. You know what I mean? And I think I actually mentioned that in that vlog, that I was never really in love with it. I'll say with this new one, I'm not going to be able to put like things on top. So when I needed to like um, bring packages back or like do returns or like ship things out or whatever, it was really convenient to like put boxes on top of the one that I got new one that I'm getting is tall and slender but this one I'm so in love with it must be a new freaking collection because I'm sorry let me make sure I'm doing oh see I'm not even listening to Susan I'm not even listening to Susan this is what happens I went to my hair appointment with Amy you guys and um, we got lost and I had to tell the girl that I was gonna be late Susan did you even oh she's not talking to me that's why okay I'm gonna let Susan talk to me. I feel like I would have noticed this um, piece of furniture, like this cabinet unit, because I was looking really deep when I was looking for my entry thing, so I'm just kinda shocked I didn't come across this. It's called the Eket, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, or Eket, it's E-K-E. for two kilometers. We can't be mad at her, she's actually getting me on the way there, so thank you very much, Susan. So freaking nice, you guys. There's different like combinations. There's one that's like less deep, but I didn't want that because I do want to be able to, like I do have the room for it to be a little bit deeper. And there's one that's like nine and something inches deep. And then the one I'm getting is 13 inches deep. And I just like that because when I did the measurements, my freaking shoe rack that I have currently right now fits in there. So I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to get it too slender. Plus when you're putting like decor on top, you don't want to be like, oh, I can't put this chunky vase because it's only nine and something, whatever, right? But they only, it's so weird. If you add like certain things to your cart from Ikea, you're able to get it delivered. But then if you just want that delivered and some other things, it won't let you deliver. It's like, oh, we can't deliver this piece. I'm gonna go to Ikea first and kind of show up for my time slot a little bit early. If they don't allow me to, then I guess I'm just gonna have to wait there and I'm kind of stuck there until they come to my car. The one without legs because honestly, if I wanna put my own legs, I'm just gonna put like these little rubber bumpers so that it can't move back and forth. The Ontario 403, Queen Elizabeth Way ramp to Hamilton. Thank you, Susan. Also ordered some inserts for the Calyx. If you guys didn't watch my organizing video, I did. A massive the Ontario yes I heard you thank you um I did a really massive cleanup on my entry closet and oh my god like the before and after Ontario 403 for 11 kilometers okay. okay Susan Susan that's enough okay you're oh you're done um yeah so I did like a really big massive cleanup on that closet so if you guys really like like organizing videos you're gonna love that video go watch it but I did end up getting some of those inserts that I told you guys you can get for that shelving unit. I freaking love the Calyx. I just love the way that, that entrance closet looks. It's amazing if you have an apartment and you have a closet where you need to like really maximize your storage. I like the stock and stuff from Ikea. Like everything is just so popular because honestly, they just have such nice things and they match my aesthetic. But like, yeah, their stock is just crazy. But I can't wait to build it. I'm building it like freaking right away and I'm like dismantling that one that I have right now because I'm so excited for it. And then I do want to go to HomeSense at that Burlington location. It's at the Burlington Mall, you guys. Last time I went, I did a reel of like little finds I got. Well, not got, but like little finds that I saw there. And I've been doing like HomeSense finds. 
um, reels on my home decor page, Aesthetic Collection. So if you guys like my home decor stuff, it'll only be on there and not on my personal anymore. Um, I like to mention that if you're new to my channel. What is it called? Yeah, last time you guys, oh my god, I turned the corner and one of the aisles was like all black and white stuff and they were all on the shelves and I was like, I kid you not, I feel like I heard the sound. Like, it was just freaking amazing. Like, oh my god, I feel like when you don't go to certain locations, I don't go to that location. Um, I would say like maybe twice a year I go there. But I'm going to check today because it's been like a week or so, so they would have got like new stuff from there. But that mall is also very quiet. It's I believe it's just called the Burlington Mall. It's very quiet, so I find like the stock would be really high. And because they're always filling up, I feel like it'd be nice and full. I hate when home sense you go in and it's like just empty. You know what I mean? Like it looks like there's so many pockets that are empty on the shelves and people already grab like the good shit. You know what I mean? Hopefully I don't get lost this time in that mall because I was almost late for my nail appointment last time. I'm not used to that mall and I couldn't find my freaking car, you guys. So we're gonna go and see what they have at home since maybe I'll find something that I'm like oh my god Oh the other thing I got from Ikea is not just the dresser. Uh, it's not a dresser for the cabinet But I found this vase I've been looking for a fluted vase or like a ribbed vase whatever you want to call it I have it at Ikea and it basically has like a metal insert at the top But that thing is removable so basically you're just left with like a really clear vase I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and everything that I got obviously like Obviously I have to share everything I get with you guys like watch yourself I was dying because someone commented on one of my other videos. This girl's like, you got a new coach bag and you didn't share it with us. She's like, I'm very offended. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, did I not show it with them? Like, oh my God. And then I was like, yes, I did. I did share it with you guys. It's so funny because I do like, obviously a big part of what I do is sharing everything with you guys. And if I don't share something, it's like every new Thing I get I'm like oh when am I gonna tell them like when am I gonna share it with them so it was just so funny to read that because I also feel the same way if I don't share something with you guys um, speaking of sharing something with you guys I got myself an early birthday gift so I'm gonna show you guys what I got it was like early birthday gift slash I'm trying to find different excuses for like this purchase because it was not cheap so I'm like trying to find I'm like yeah early birthday gift yeah so it was like a reward to myself because I did like the five minute journal where like you have to commit to five days a year and then you reward yourself. So my reward was either a designer bag or um, like a mini little getaway. But then I ended up not getting either one of those for myself. <laughs> I ended up getting something else. I'm going to show you guys later. I'm so freaking excited. And I wish I could have brought it with me today and worn it today. But it's kind of raining right now. So I'm going to shut off the camera and just kind of get myself to this Ikea safely because... It's getting really dark and there's really no need for me to wear any sunglasses, but I am that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it doesn't matter. Rain, shine, darkness, snow, snowstorm. Thank you, Susan. Uh, she, she always keeping us on track, you know what I'm saying? Susan is my girl. Watch yourself, girl. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just feel so good today. I got myself all dressed. We are in a spring trench. We are saying hi to spring, even though, well, actually, spring is here and it's raining right now. But it's kind of like winter, spring right now. It's like very weird. But I got myself all dressed up and I was like, girl, girl, grab your, grab your Michael Kors bag and let's head out, girl. All right, y'all, we are here. I don't know, it's pretty easy. I was like, I don't know if I'm the only one, but like, I stress out about things that I don't know how they're gonna go. Like, oh, where do, sorry, where do I go for like, click and collect? Like, is it gonna go smoothly? Like, I, I stress about like the dumbest shit. And I'm like, Steph, it's gonna go how it's gonna go. And like, everything's gonna be fine. You know what I'm saying? I am my own cheerleader. Like, that's how you gotta be. You just click the link in the email and check in basically and then they come to your car and bring your stuff so hopefully it goes smoothly yeah i'll see you guys at home sense i have to make room in my car for the ship well that went good it looks like it didn't from the looks of me but actually it wasn't bad so what happened was apparently there's like numbers Okay, I am starting to look a little bit crazy with these sunglasses on because like it's like legit raining. There's like no sun, so I don't know what I'm protecting myself from. What parking spot are you in? And I'm like, um, I don't see a number. Like I just don't see a freaking number. So I just put any number and then I'm like, shit stuff. Like if you put any number, like they're probably not gonna like come to your car, right? So I caught someone coming out, like one of the workers. And I was like, I think I put the wrong parking spot. Like. 
um, can you help me or whatever, right? And he was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. And he actually had brought out my order. He was the one bringing out my order. And he's like, I went to parking spot number two and there was someone there, but they weren't in their car. I'm like, oh, um, I'm like, that, that's not me. Like, I'm in the wrong parking spot anyways, right? Now we're going to go. I was actually debating on going inside the Ikea. Um, but what is it called? Then I'm like, honestly, stuff like, you don't really, there's nothing really that I want from in there. Like, I'd rather go to HomeSense. I am looking for brand new towels. I don't know what it is about towels, but I feel like they never freaking last. I need to start washing them, I think, on delicate. So go through different moods where, like, I want a darker towel, and then I go through, like, stages where, like, now I want lighter towels. I don't know. So the guy's like, here's your order, and you're going to die on the thing. I put that I need assistance, like, putting it in my car. And he's like, okay, so here's your order. And I was like, okay, thank you so much. And I just take the car, but honestly, it wasn't heavy to put it in my car. But let me show you guys the vase that I was talking about. CB2 actually has a vase like this. But like I would have to go downtown like I'm not doing that for a freaking vase And then when you go to the delivery the freaking delivery costs the same amount as the goddamn vase So I'm like that's not happening. So then I came across Okay, what's also not happening is me removing this to show you guys. But anyways, this is the vase. How freaking cute is it you guys? So it comes with this metal insert But you can just see how it's like loose you just remove the metal insert. Anyways, let's head off to HomeSense right now. And it's actually pretty close. Like the mall's like five minutes from here. Because H&M has a vase just like this. It's really pretty. I just don't know. I don't want to be collecting like 50,000 vases. You know what I mean? And styles always change, but this is pretty though. So these dried florals are like super trendy right now. I love that there's no music because I can like talk to you guys. But I'm actually looking for dried white, um, I think it's called Ruscus. And it's like sold out everywhere because it's so freaking nice. But oh, it's so pretty. Because I don't have any here. This is the aisle I was talking to you guys about that's like all black and white. And I just found this. So pretty. I've actually seen this like two times. It's so freaking pretty. It looks like marble. So sometimes, guys, check out the section, like the book section at HomeSense because sometimes you can find some really good coffee table books that are like really affordable, but it's kind of like a hit and miss. Um, but I have found some before, but yeah, just double check and see if it like goes with your aesthetic because you can save a lot by getting them here. Look at all these bouquet pillows, but people are not going to want them as much anymore because spring is basically around the corner and this is very like cozy winter vibes it's all gonna be about the fresh i feel like i don't see any cute pillows today but look how cute these are you guys they come in up there and they're 79 tell me why my favorite section to look at is like the bathroom stuff i don't know why like look how pretty this is marble stuff the black stuff oof look at this i'm not a great person at all but i can easily paint that this is so cute too Let's see what they got over here oh wow this is beautiful too really pretty I love using like bathroom stuff for like other stuff, like not just for the bathroom, but like as decor pieces on top of stuff. Like look at this. This is totally like a decor piece. Okay, so I found this set of towels. I mean, I can't go wrong because it's $30 and you get two bath towels, two face towels, two washcloths. So, and I'm really loving this color right now. This I'm debating because I can see it as such a gorgeous piece, but it comes with these pearls on the inside that I would have to like remove. I don't know, but I can see a vision with it. It's just so freaking pretty. $16. I don't know about ya, but I'm really liking those towels though. And I got some treats for Nyla, and I think I'm taking this at $6.99, can't go wrong. So time to check out. You guys always ask me where I find my black 
um, plates. I actually have these guys that you've been seeing in wedding night days and like vlogs and stuff. They also have the bowls, so they are at home sense. They have really cute ones. I also picked these up for Nyla, you guys. I love to give her these. This is weight management, but I just like them because they're only 25 calories. So if I want to give her a treat, sometimes I'll break them up into like three pieces and I'll put them in her slow feeder, the strawberry, or any slow feeder. And they just have to work for it. Keeps them like entertained, sometimes for a really long time. And then I ended up getting these bones for her. They're basically like, I think it's just basically like bone marrow that's on the inside. But um, she really, really, really likes these. She literally like licks it hollow. Like basically, I can't really show you. But anyways, in the middle it has stuff in it. But so freaking affordable. These treats are like very, well the bones are not so expensive at the pet store. This is $6.99 and this is also $6.99. Whereas like at the pet store, you'll probably pay like $10. So you do save a little bit. But I've just resorted to the stuff that I know that she likes and I just try to find them cheaper because it can definitely get very expensive. But I pretty much showed you guys. I still have like some mess going on for me organizing my entry closet. But this is basically a bag with clothes to give away, to donation. And then this is my new beauty that I can't wait to build you because you're going to look so freaking pretty over here. So if you guys don't remember, this is exactly what I have over here. It's just a drawer. It's going to be messy on the inside. But basically... It's just a drawer with um, this shoe rack fits inside of this guy. So I'm so excited. As you can see, it's like pretty deep and it kind of gets in the way of over here. Whereas the other one is going to be a lot less deep. It's just going to feel more open over here and it's also going to be taller. So yeah, but I'm also so excited to um, paint that um, bowl that I got. And I'm really in love with these towels, you guys. I feel like they're different because they have like the stripe detail whereas most of them they're like so typical um put all this stuff away right now and i'll show you guys the after when i build that little entry piece so i wanted to show you guys what it ended up looking like i built this yesterday and i actually love this a lot more it feels so much more open here i actually have some tape on the wall right now because um, I was kind of playing around with some frames, like uh, sizes basically, and I actually ordered one right now from Ikea. I also want the frame off to the side and then the decorations, like I don't want it as center. I want the decorations to kind of make it look balanced and centered, but I've seen that a lot and it just makes it look more expensive. It also makes it look not so like boring. I don't know how to describe it, just more bougie, you know what I mean? But right now I have it to the floor because I didn't want to put legs and I thought that I had rubber feet to put on it but I only had freaking two so I was missing two other ones but I actually ordered the wall mount thing because I noticed in the photos how some people had it floating and it looks so freaking good you guys like that also made it look very expensive so I'm just gonna have it floating like right above the baseboard at the bottom there so ordered the wall mount I ordered the um photo frame I'm either gonna be doing my own artwork on the inside probably like most likely I'll do my own artwork and I was playing around with the piece that I got yesterday from HomeSense and I was putting some plaster on the inside to cover the pearls that were in there. So what I'm going to be doing now is mixing up a color. I think I'm going to do a very, very, very pale stone color, almost the color of the towels. And I'm going to paint it that just because I feel like it's too white and also the paint, um, the artwork is going to be like very white. But love the cabinet, you guys. Let me show you on the inside. I almost forgot to show you the inside. But it's really freaking cute, you guys. My shoe rack fit in here perfectly. Like, look at that. Her towel, which I like to dry her feet with when she comes from um, outside. I have her two coats with my little gym bag. And then my neck warmers and my gloves, which I've been using that are such a big help in the winter. Also, I put my towels away on the inside over here. And if you guys haven't watched me organizing this entry closet make sure you guys go check it out i did a massive cleanup i actually have some calyx inserts that i'm going to be putting that are coming monday definitely gave this closet a massive massive makeover so go check out that video because it's definitely worth it if you guys want some motivation to clean up a really messy closet you have before i forget i told you guys that i would show you what i bought myself i actually posted this on my stories and i was so so in love i've been seeing these on pinterest and i'm like i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna buy these or not so i ended up getting these sunglasses by prada they are the most beautiful like creamy white you guys can tell this is more like a cool white and that's why i went to go try on this style at sunglass hut because 
I wanted to make sure number one the style fit me because these are not cheap you guys um so i tried on the black ones but honestly i don't have a white pair and i feel like white is just so chic it's so me and i wear a ton of light colors so it just has the prada over there on that side i'm actually going to be doing like an unboxing reel on my personal instagram page but so 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 gorgeous i'll try them so that you guys can see so what i meant was i still have to get the prescription done that's why i can't really use them and why i couldn't bring them with me Okay, so this is what they look like, y'all. You want to wear them a little bit low. You know what I'm saying? You want the eyebrows to show. You want everything to look cute, girl. Okay, guys, before I end this vlog, I wanted to have this special moment with you guys because this is my first time trying Bedia tacos. I've wanted to try them ever since I keep seeing them like on Instagram. Oh, my God. I can't believe I have this in front of me. Like, it's so crazy. Because I've been wanting to try these. So I only got the three tacos because I feel like these like look really heavy and like filling. Hopefully they fill me up, but they gave me the consomme. I'm gonna show you guys like um a close-up. Oh, this smells so good. This one looks, or maybe it's just because the liquid's like rising to the top, but I expect it just to be thicker, but it looks thicker at the bottom. Our tacos, like what? Oh, look on fire the inside of the taco like stop it right now forgot to ask for extra cilantro and like cebolla on the side because i love 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 that okay my first bite i wanted to take it with you guys i'm actually currently watching yellow jackets on crave apparently it's a good show and people are like recommending it so i'm like watching it okay let's dip her in yeah see this consomme looks more watery whereas like i've seen people like in like eat these in vlogs where the consomme is a little bit thicker, but I guess I expected this to taste different. I don't know why, but I have no idea what the hell just happened. I guess the tripod was like at the edge. I'm also not a big fan of um, uh, corn tortillas. I'm not a fan. And I like just the regular like flour tortillas. So maybe that's why like, I can really taste the corn in here. The consomme is good. It's just not as great as I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. It's so funny because when you see things online and people hype things up. I'm not saying these are the best ones first of all. Because like I said, I feel like if you don't have these in Toronto, you're not getting like the best ones. Guess my expectations and what I was thinking in my head and like the hype and everything. I was just expecting them to be like, oh my god. I'd say they're like a I'd say like seven out of ten. I don't know if I would order this again from this place. For three tacos, you guys, it was 18 something. I wanted to have my first bite with you guys. Let me know where you guys like them from if you guys are from the GTA. Because I'll have to like retry them again from there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I got paint on myself because I was doing a DIY with that vase. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys do. Go click the bell so you guys get notified for all my brand new videos. And also follow both of my IG pages. They are listed down below in my description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all my beautiful babes in my next video.